Right, I'm gonna go have a bit of breakfast. How are you feeling this morning, lads? Not too bad. I was up the second this morning. I went around town, did some shots at the uh, Shalom. Yeah? And today we're launching the Friday campaign, so we're telling everyone about our trip here, tracking blog posts on the Jazz Cat website, and hopefully we can get people donating, which would be really awesome. So it's exciting. We're on our way to the compound again where we're going to be doing some more pimping of our tuk tucks. How the devil are you? I'm, it's nice to meet you. It, oh my god, guys, guys, no photos, no photos, no, go, go. The sun is shining, it's warm, very warm. And we need to, we're going to bring the tuk tucks out, we're going to park them and crack on. So me and Max have been assigned to get all the wiring done for the batteries and the sound systems. Do Who's doing the awnings, Jack? I'm going to do the awnings, Jack. I'm going to head out into the town, find well, so some hand material shops up. and grab some beautiful little ornate stuff inside. Is that for the seating as well? Yeah, a little bit of seating, make okay, it more so comfortable. Just stay here. Up. We're bringing the tuk tuk around to get the speakers fitted. Uh, we're getting three clutch cables, two speakers, no sorry, one set of speakers with aux cable, uh, with an aux box and two battery sets. So our current predicament is we're trying to drill some holes to wire the battery to the front and this is as far as we can get the drill from the building. There's not enough uh, gap. So we need to go and get an extension. Just unplug it. We need to go and get an extension cable and then it should work. We've wandered back down this road and we're gonna see if we can get anything this time. So we've got an extension lead so we can plug in the drill and we're getting some more wiring so we can rewire the batteries and the other tuk tucks. Finn, what's going on? No, 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 so we just no. got the speakers working and we're just testing them out. They're amazing. Oh! Hey, high five. Yeah, the speakers, man. Got it. Now we need to rewire another one. Max successfully drilled some holes through. So we're gonna now connect these wires to the current existing wires and then we're gonna thread up through those holes and to the front of the tuk tuk. So we're gonna wrap it around each other, all these long ass wires, which is gonna be fun. And then we're gonna attach it all the way around, run it along and then put it through to the front. Look at this guys, battery, mains power, boom. That's what I'm talking about. Hey look, Jack, look under here, look under here. We've been in the maddest mission. We've been running around town, stacked, crazy busy, trying to get all these little things with the tuk 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 seeds, all those to the side. We've got everything, man. Sick. Bad mission. It's lunchtime. Hello. What have we got there, Will? We've got a vegetable spring roll and then some egg fries. None of us have eaten all day because we've been working so hard. What are you doing, Jack? 
just having a little bit of flowers to the side of the tuk-tuk. You can't drive a tuk-tuk through India without flowers on the side. It's like a rule. This is one of the essential things, is putting flowers on, I think. More than anything else. More than power. Oh yeah, no. Don't need power, we just need flowers. Then you've got flower power. <laughs> Yes, mate. This is coming together so nicely. These are for holding goodies. These are for holding water bottles. It's all coming together. Well, basically, we thought, okay, we don't want to just get a really sore bum for the next 2,000 miles we've got. So we bought a big bit of foam. We're going to wrap the foam around one of the seats and get some fabric which is on the roof, and then just make it nice and pretty. Nice. I'm excited. I've ducked away from the madness for a minute to go and find a few other bits we need. Okay, I've got the battery terminals and a hammer, but I haven't found nails yet, so I'm going to look for nails. I've got the nails. I'm going to run back and see if we can get these uh, chairs made for the lads. Mate, how's your day been? I haven't seen you today, man. It's been quite hectic. We've been basically walking around just trying to gather all these bits and pieces, all the flowers and the wire and everything. Yeah, it's been good though, productive. The guys are fitting the seat. Mate, no, it's too thick. It's not working. It's fine, man, it's fine. I've got, I've got this sorted. It's, it's all hooked up, don't yeah? worry. Yeah, I'll be ready for tomorrow. Just the important things. No, because I know you were stressing about it, yeah. listen, I'm doing all the important things here, okay, so it's good. fine, yeah. That's all duct taped up there. I mean, that is a relief. That I'm is a relief. Lie, got I, that I feel a little bit useless, because these two, Louis and Max, technical wizards, I'm doing duct tape. I'm duct taping gods to the front of the duct <laughs> <laughs> What a hectic day. Literally, we've got a bit of an issue because this guy is a mechanic and he's the only guy that can fit the two speakers and we've still got two tucked ups and these speakers fit and he's not here and we've got, I don't know, half an hour, 45 minutes left of daylight. Apart from that, we're pretty good. We've got all the decorations on. Um, seats are going on, on this one and we're working on that one. Victoria, Mary and Elizabeth. They're looking sweet. Oh yes, Mary. Wait, Mary's got some sounds. Mary's beautiful. I actually in love with you. Just come here. Mwah. So it's the end of the day, we're just making some very last minute adjustments. Apparently one of the common problems is that the exhaust falls down while you drive. So yeah, we're doing a very element. Yeah. We're doing a very handmade job of attaching fishing wire to the exhaust and then up into the body of the tuk-tuk so that if it does come loose, it holds into it. So, it's the end of the night. We've parked up. We're leaving tomorrow and we've pretty much got everything sorted. There might be a few little other things, but pretty much there. Wait, look at this taxi we're in. Oh yeah, uh, uh, oh yeah. Oh, what are you said about this taxi, Jack? After a long day of hard work on the tuk tuks, this is the only way to get home. <laughs> <laughs> We've made a group decision to all eat meat tonight, even though I was trying to be a vegetarian, I lasted like three days. Chili pork, egg noodles. What have you guys got? Same. Ridiculously spicy is it, pork thing. Is it spicy? You can't handle the spice, you can't do it. I can't do it. I'm sweating so bad. So I'm on the back of my throat, I just can't do spices. It's so embarrassing. See these red chilies? Finn just ate one. How are you feeling, Finn? My ears are hurting. My face is sweating. Like Tell them about like what's the hottest thing. chilies in India. When you have enough, the hottest chili in India, and say one like that big. And that's that's, that's milk, genuinely milk. the hottest chili I've ever eaten in my life. This, this, this won't no, cause a fight room. between us at all. Chili season to a bit into Finn's beer. <laughs> Naughty Jack. <laughs> to the rickshaw run. <laughs> Cheers, Finn. Cheers, Ben. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Cheers. Everyone drink. Drink. Oh, I see what's happening. You're trying to get me to drink. How boring! How boring of you! How is that obvious, Finn? What's the problem? Try, just try. Put it in your mouth. Go on. Just please do it. I would just like to say while we're sat here, it's a very quick speech. I didn't really write one. I I couldn't be in a better place with a more wonderful bunch of people.
Cheers guys. We are setting off tomorrow at 11am and we're going to go through our route for one final time, decide where we're aiming to get to at the end of the day and then work out where, like, how much distance we want to cover each day. So we've got our maps here and we've got Google Maps on the laptop. Look at these lovely Indian scars that Namita got for us. <laughs> I, I'm, I feel like a bandit. <laughs> you look like a bum bandit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get some rest. Tomorrow we're leaving on the rickshaw run and it's gonna be amazing. Peace out, enjoy life and live the adventure. Boom. <laughs>